This man is on a quest for justice as Lightning Mabowski hopefully brings to an end this sordid and tawdry class action suit against Los Santos PD. There's a new sheriff in town, ladies and gentlemen. You're looking at him. See you in court. Is this okay, it? Okay, before you enter, if you would declare any and all weapons. I have nothing to declare but my genius. <laughs> what you have to remember now is I've already served time for this. I've already had my fine, so, so I, I'm in the clear. Nothing's going to happen to me, but these lot are going to get grilled. Not everything to remain holstered. You know how trigger happy you guys can be. Do you mind if I do a frisk? No, not at all. Ooh. Careful now. I dress to the left. Okay. Other than that, you're definitely going to find the bolt there. Can we not? Uh, uh, this uh, not frisk the police? No, nothing suspicious. Prefer to have been frisked by a Dude, female we'll police officer, him. but you know, times that we live in. Wait a minute, who, who is that? You! You! It's a staunch Dude, frisk, sure. supporter of anybody that's against the PD, I wouldn't worry, sir. Did you say? You're a staunch supporter of anyone against the PD. After this guy. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. What does that mean? It means he likes you. He's not massively bright, is he? Shut the fuck up, you! You're not laid out again? Laid out again? That sounds like a confession. That's Toby, by the way, who uh, accosted us last time. I'm going to get him. He's on my enemy's list. What's the script here? Hello. What's going on? Just keep my eye on you. Yep, yeah, I'm coming. Didn't I? Have we come down you? Shite call the jack out of you for me. Can everybody hear me back there? What a shite is your face. Yes, your honour. They're you, intensely at the you're screen. You're still a Golden Glove champion because I kicked your ass twice. They're Golden Glove champion. The only one. Yeah. You want to sit down like then? Yeah. Sit down and you do, you big man. Sort yourself out. I'll sort you out, all right. This is this is all tremendous stuff. I didn't think they had a, a courtroom. Like, which way is this going to go now for Lightning? All right, we're going to get started. Okay, on the left, we've got Chief John McKay representing the LSPD. On the right, we've got a Lightning McBowski being represented by Nigel Tasker. Only kidding. Chester Fiddlesticks and Drew McDonald uh, as his legal aid. All right, if we were going to have a statement from the defense, an opening statement, letting us know what uh, you plan to contest here. Oh, hello, is this is booking. One, two, one, two. Break a leg. Your Honor, citizens residing in this courtroom, we are here to discuss a violation of my client's rights and how the police's either gross misconduct or laziness rendered my client incarcerated for 60 months. My uh, client yes. will be contesting all charges today. A blanket plea of not guilty. Okay, and to go into specifics on the charges, the charges that are being contested are going to be one-time destruction of government property, uh, one-time possession of a class one firearm, one-time possession of a class two firearm, and one-time possession of a legal weapon modification. Now, those are all the charges that are being now, contested. Now, this is where Fiddlesticks thinks he's Correct, got Your it. Honor. Okay. Oh, silly. Anything else for your opening statement? Hello, Not at this time, Your Honor. Okay, have you uh, got any where opening we think statements got him, you want to add? If you're not going to get me for the destruction of the vehicle, you won't find the gun and the modification, so I won't get sentenced for them. So it's... I'm getting all of them at once. Corona, Chris Ginger Bastard. Love Los Santos. We're here today to discuss the uh, charges brought against Mr. McBowski. Um, You've always been a good friend, Toby. The destruction of government property as well as the possession of two illegal weapons. Justice. That's what's going on. Justice. Understood. Uh, we've got a few uh, witnesses I, under the docket. Um, lightning Lightning stole the car. Uh, where would uh, we, uh, the uh, defense uh, like to proceed? An emergency with? vehicle. First. A couple of weeks ago. So five years. You get a, uh, and now I'm in the process an overview of, of this, uh, this, this courtroom, Your Honor. I would like to call... Mr. Owens, Officer Owens, to the stand. Now, Owens, the little, this little git coming up here now. This little fucker here. This little guy here has, has, a, has a power complex. That little bit of power that he's got. Door. Little bit of power that he's got. Please, please and he can't help himself. On. He can't help himself. And he got so annoyed that so I would have plead uh, take guilty. A seat over here on the left or the right. Shitload of paperwork for him to do. And I, I'm here for it. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I'll help you, bastard. Mr. Got, Owens. Got quite a few players cadet, here now. Oh, awesome. I, I would like to clarify just before we begin. Uh, still a cadet at the moment. A fucking see, cadet. A fucking cadet. On the night in question, to the best of your ability, can you please give a, a full statement of what you believed happened that night? So it started off, uh, we had a call up to the Yellow Jacks bar. Um, there was a disturbance up there. Uh, we weren't sure what was going on at the time. I responded. We went up there. Uh, um, seemed like there'd been some sort of a fight had gone on or something like that. Um, so we gathered what evidence we could. No um, evidence. No evidence to be gathered. Responded in case there was uh, an injured person up there as well. The injured um, person was me. There was no one there at the time. We believe they'd been taken down 
uh, two pillbox already. EMS had so nothing so far. Pillbox, just in case they needed more treatment. I'll be over for one later, sell it. Um, and at the time, me and Hornby just did some more investigation around the scene. I bet you they did. Fuck all. Um, once we were in the know that a individual had gone down to pillbox, um, we decided to head that way. See what this uh, is on the way down. Um, it's called class, but it draws. Told us that uh, a vehicle's been stolen and gone over the bridge, heading down towards the city. We noticed an uh, EMS vehicle heading northbound, so we turned around and went in pursuit after it. We temporarily lost eyes. And, there you um, go. That's it. He's lost eyes. Took a, a good guess as to where it might have been going, sort of towards the Yellow Jacks area. So we took the turning off towards El Yellow Jacks, and as we took the off ramp and got to the turn in, we noticed the vehicles parked on the left hand, uh, sorry, on the right hand side, uh, with an individual standing next to it. Uh, what did he look like? Uh, once uh, we were visible, the person then jumped back into the vehicle. Was it me? What and didn't see my off face? Down the road past the mine and the old restaurant with the purple dinosaur at the front. And it was about half a mile down the road, maybe a bit less. Um, I believe the individual lost control of the vehicle. I jumped out. Um, went over a bit of a hill and crashed. As we got over the hill, um, Mikowski was lying on the floor right next to the vehicle. So you have to remember, they haven't seen me and jump that's out. that's when we then placed him into custody. So at the moment now, vehicle, see me lying on the floor. Thank you Nothing. very much for that. Well, based on your statement today, I have a few questions, if that's okay. Fucking do him! Certainly. Do him! Does your honor man mind if I stand in the middle where everyone can hear me? That's perfectly fine. That's preferred. Mr. Owens, you said that uh, when you took the yellow jack turn off, you saw the vehicle stationary. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. This, this is... Come on! Do it! Who did, you, who did you see standing next to the vehicle? Uh, we saw a person uh, with facing away from us. Come on, specific! Uh, potentially with a mask on, just about getting back into the vehicle. To the best of your ability, can you recall the clothing of that person? To be fair, it's exactly what uh, I'm wearing yes, today. Was, I didn't really uh, think that through. Red jacket, white pants. Couldn't say exactly. It might have been a red leather jacket or something like that. It was this jacket! It was this jacket! Oh, he's fucked up! Can you see this man was a... Uh... a red jacket. He's fucked up. It's my jacket that I'm wearing now. You see now. this man or uh, this, this person was facing away oh, from you. it wasn't. At the time, yeah. To the best of your ability, would you be able to point that person out in this courtroom today? Uh, to the best of my ability, it would be um, Mabowski. How? 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 You base your assumption based on uh, the person you saw at the, the side of the road, not the person you recovered. So once again, I ask you, would you be able to point that person out? I couldn't say 100%. There you go! Boom! The individual is facing away from me. Couldn't say 100%. Go get him, fiddlesticks! When the uh, the vehicle, you, you claimed the vehicle lost control, didn't you? And it, it, it came to a stop. Ran me over. Yep. Ran me over. I believe your, your phrase is eyes on the vehicle the whole time. Uh, you not the whole time. Uh, there was a couple of seconds where we lost sight of it as it was going over a hill. That's why I jumped out. I knew they couldn't see me. You didn't see the vehicle crash, did you? You just, you just knew it was uh, no longer moving. Please don't coerce him into a specific answer please ask him a direct question of course of course when you arrived at the vehicle what's the vehicle moving surely that's down for the no. other uh uh lawyer you on the other side to say anyone something anyone in this courtroom today exit the vehicle uh we didn't see anyone specifically leaving the vehicle no would you be able to tell me how my client uh what's the word i'm looking for ejected from the vehicle would it would it be from uh, the passenger seat or would it be from the driver's seat uh, that would be hard to say because like i said we lost visual for maybe a couple of seconds considering there's only one person we could see in the vehicle i would uh, assume it was there's a lot of assuming seat. here i remember I ask you not to assume in this courtroom assuming makes it so ass. important an ass out of you and me. I would say it'd be from the driver's seat. Get a bit of a turnout here for justice. I would like to move on to the first charge you uh, awarded my client. The structure of the property. Get away, get away, May you please card. walk me through Politicians your reasoning as to why I you believe. were giving my, uh, my client this charge? Uh, at the time, I believed that was the correct charge to give. Considering Am I allowed the to tweet EMS from here? The vehicle was uh, from quite court. heavily damaged. I'm going to tweet from court. Can you tell me the license plate of that EMS vehicle? Uh, not offhand, though. Can I see a picture of this damage? Because I'm pretty sure in this picture it would also include the license plate, wouldn't it? Uh, Cadet possibly. Owens I'm on the road. I'm not sure if uh, any photos were taken at the time because uh, we did have a gentleman who was down. Mr. Bergowski was injured mm. at the time, so we were concentrating on getting him some medical attention. He didn't get me any medical attention. He threw me into a car. 
They jailed. They, they arrested me first. What became of the uh, emergency service vehicle? I believe Seamus was able to have a ride up to us this, um, this. with a police officer and was able to drive idiot. the vehicle back himself. Yeah. Are you saying a, a, a police officer was present when the vehicle was recovered? Yes, I believe um, it was at least me and Hornby at the scene. Possibly there's I another believe, officer that said brought Seamus up to collect no, the no. vehicle. Why wasn't this officer included in your report? <laughs> he just possibly dropped the um, Seamus off and uh, headed off to another incident. Bad PD. Bad PD. That doesn't answer my question, unfortunately. He was involved in the the scene, wasn't he? He was covered some rocky vehicle. music ready for this. Uh, he did not directly recover it. No. Um, Objection. Leading questions. Oh, now, now now he gets involved. Now Seamus gets involved. Do I just look at his police phone? officer going to uh, take pictures of the vehicle in your stead? Seeing as how you were busy giving my clients some medical attention. Uh, possibly a slight oversight. Uh, slight oversight. What a bunch of idiots. It would be it would be true to say you had every opportunity to acquire the evidence if there was any uh more than likely do you have any further questions for owen not at this time your in Honor. terms of in terms of rp Mackay, if you have any questions for fiddlesticks owen. is a great character a kind of Saul goodman kind of character that oh, was yeah. tremendous fiddlesticks did you see the crash mm. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we saw the vehicle uh, losing control, heading up the hill. Do more of the booing. Can you be more specific? Um, so the EMS vehicles are highly tuned. We believe the person driving must have lost control, um, heading onto the grass, uh, trying to avoid a local, and in doing so, then lost control, going over the hill, and then crashed. Trying to uh, are, these, are these a bunch of children behind me? What did the vehicle crash into? Up the hill, it dropped. Hey kids, immediately kids, sit down. Behind. And then there's it's not an a daycare center. Sit down. So. Bunch of children behind me. There's a bunch of children behind me. Do you know how much a Dodge Charger costs? Uh, not myself. See this no. Seamus fella? It's his vehicle. He was so annoyed, apparently. Did you describe in detail the damage to the vehicle? Nothing that you had to... Uh, you, so you pretty little ginger head about. It got fixed. Judge, were... okay. Your Honor, argumentative. Officer Owen said has no history in me mechanical works, and he used the word believed. Do you know specifics Toby. on the damage to the vehicle? If this goes south, guns blazing. A lot of dents, uh, panels missing, scratches. Uh, Not last sure. question, what was Mr. McBowski's reasons for being beside the vehicle? Was walking on the road! Uh, apparently someone had run him over or had kidnapped him and left him on the, at the scene. I did change my story a couple of times, to be fair. Who's my expert witness? witness? Call. James O'Connor to the stand. Mr. O'Connor, as with my uh, previous witness, would you please care to describe uh, the events, what happened that night from the best of your ability? Everyone's going to be checking the phones in a minute now. Going... They're all checking the phones. It'll project your voice a little better from up here. Seamus, do you want one of these? Yeah, I had a calling uh, yellow jack. Went to the lift to get in a helicopter to fly up there. When I got there, the person who was injured wasn't there. I flew back to uh, Hillbox, landed on the roof, come down to the lift, walked out to the from the lift doors, and I saw somebody lockpicking my EMS vehicle. Saw somebody, not went me. On to Again, the he was radio, going was to get to, me. Um, officer Because Derek, the told, mayor. The dumped my body like in the desert after the guy next to me drew the person's clothes and he's stuff. the one who he's the one who got me in this whole situation is that your full testimony at the moment if you ask me questions i can put more stuff this in. Drew, can you, you uh, describe to this courtroom exactly where you were standing when you, you saw this out. vehicle being lockpicked as you proclaim from the doors from the lift when i use i park my car always near to the glass doors where i can see if anyone's playing around with it now i'm going to show you something now quickly He's basically getting hey, Seamus. Right, this time, I, I would like to use the visual aid that I presented to you earlier. Oh, is he going to show? Is he going to show on the screen? The prosecution also has access to... to this visual aid. Right, so he's going to show a visual photo aid, two. and this is the visual aid I'm going to bring it up photo on the screen. Two. We can refer to photo two. This is the photo he's referring the to. Does the chief have access this to this? This one here. I'm basically saying, how he can you possibly it. see me break into Listen, the car? Chief, would it be this accurate to see from here? There you go. Well, Isn't Chief, would it be accurate to say this is exactly where you were standing or close to? That's where I was standing when I was coming out the door, yes. It's an open and shut case, this. Listen, Chief, uh, has got those glasses you're currently wearing, are they prescription or are they sunglasses? You four eyed fuck. So uh, it would be accurate to, to say you, you have uh, a, uh, glasses, a medical please, history please involving your eyesight? To the stream saying that that's against, technically. um... I need them for reading from, anyway, uh, from far I, I away. I can see perfectly. You can see perfectly. They're just for just for show, yep. like the stethoscope. Would it be accurate to say 
right about where you were standing? You're on the left side of me. The Seamus guy. In both visual aids, you're able to see the vehicle in the distance. Can you tell me who's currently standing next to your vehicle? In visual aid one, I would like the courtroom to know. To so stitch up this. The information the assistant chief has given, whilst the best of ability is the, incorrect. They're on the ropes. They've got nothing. Who is someone standing next to that vehicle? They've got nothing. I say something where he was doing the lock picking. Who's the other side we, with the white of the vehicle? You can see the shadow of the body. The other person, the other side of the near the railings. That's where the person wasn't standing when he was fiddling around with the car. Once again, information is left out because the police did not do their due diligence and get your witness statement. Did the police ever get a witness statement from you prior to four days ago? This yeah, happened two weeks Hall ago. This. A quick one when he asked me, but he didn't do a full one only from about two days ago. Because he's a cadet! Because he's a cadet! Exactly the same thing as before. Shh. I said two days Sorry. ago, exactly the same thing. Mr. McBowski, I would ask you let me do the talking, thank you. Assistant Chief, but when this individual ran past you, did you see his face? Oh, I only saw the back of him when he was going through the sliding doors, the glass doors. I saw his um, blonde haired red jacket and shaz, um, kind of bluey, greeny trousers. The person who stole your EMS charger, I believe it was, can you identify him today? Yeah, he's standing right in front of me. When he's on his phone. But same style, hairstyle, and same sort of jacket. And if I were to say to you, that person who stole the EMS charger would, had a mullet, you would be able to actually disprove this. Well, his hair is not a mullet. Assistant Chief, your credibility is... Oh, I'm really tight down for you. I do ask the, the, the court to be quiet for this. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Assistant Chief, your medical knowledge is well regarded. Thank Even the fact you, you have risen to Assistant Chief position. However, I can't say the same for your eye spotting contest, unfortunately. That distance, that far away, being the back of someone, back of their hair. Objection, is there a question here? Yes, there is. It's my next, next four words. You can't really see that person, can you? If there was someone standing on that side of the car, would you be able to point them out in this courtroom today? Surprised he passed the medical. Uh, it's visual yeah. aid number two. Yeah, I could. There's nobody standing next to that car in front of that side where I saw the person. Your Honour, this witness is claiming to identify my client based on clothing and the back of someone's head. Is that truly weight in this courtroom? No bit of questions, Your Honour. Masterful there, Phil Sticks. Masterful. Yeah. Evening, Seamus. Could you please Ooh. describe the uh, person that stole the MS vehicle on that evening? Yeah, he had uh, blonde hair to like kind of his shoulders with a red jacket and like a greeny, bluey pants. Did you see the person from the front or the rear? Uh, from the back of the head and body. Do you know how much a Dodge Charger costs? We can get him back to the fucking car again! Is this an episode yeah, of Top Gear? Could you describe in detail front. the damage to the vehicle, please? Uh, the front bumper was all smashed in, front window screen, back window screen was smashed in, front doors were smashed in, bonnet was all smashed up. Sounds like my ex girlfriend. And one of the wheels was bent in a tiny bit. Enough other questions, you know. Right, that's all their witnesses. The defense played the call. Mr. McDuckett to the stand. Sorry about what happened to your car, Seamus. The last uh, witness here yeah, listed on the dark is going to be. Uh, you've had your time, mate. Mix. You've had your time. You've had your time. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You've had your time. No, this is really important. No, 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 no. no. It's, 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 it's a call. It's a call. Oh, mate. You waited you called up and you were called up. Assistant Chief, you've had your time to speak. Yeah. Fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them. I need to go and pick an officer up in the mountain. He's dying. See you later. McBasky, if you'll come up here and uh, go take a seat. Oh, okay. The fuck he drew back. Can... You the me the megaphone won't be necessary. Yeah, the, the microphones right. work perfectly fine. My people, all of you are my people. Hey, I see man. you, Larry. I see you. Yeah, I will fucking execute you, Lightning. Yeah, this light this guy. Dude, All right, okay, okay. Sir. You, I'll take the first question from you. Can you so state what? your full name, please? Uh, my name one. is um, Lightning Danger McBowski of the family mm. Bowski. <laughs> All right, and do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So I'll help you, bastard. All right, if I could slam this gavel, sorry, I would slam sorry, it down, okay, but I'm going to save okay, you. Yeah, yeah, can we get some order in the car? We get some order in the car. Order in the car. All right, Tony. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So I'll help you, bastard. Yes, yes, I do. Sorry, I'm a bit emotional. I'm a bit emotional right now. Un understandable. Mr. Mipowski, firstly, were you in the EMS vehicle on the night in question? Um. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, I'm in flashbacks. Pull yourself together. Uh, sorry, um, sorry, darling. Uh, no, I was walking along the road and I was hit by this uh, this vehicle. Someone was driving it. I'm not sure who. I'm not sure who. 
Did you get a look at the driver? They were they were driving incredibly fast. Whoever they were, they, they looked incredibly good looking. I know that much. When you were struck with the vehicle, were you rendered unconscious? Yes, I broke a couple of ribs and uh, slammed into the side of a hill. And then the vehicle drove for another, I'd say another 20, 30 meters before the, the person or persons, it was, I, my eyes were a bit blurry at the time. I was seeing stars, uh, exited the vehicle and ran up the uh, ran up the mountain. They ran towards the police vehicle or in the no, opposite no, they, direction? No, they, 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 they ran away as if they, yes, as if they were being chased and they ran away up the mountain. Very shortly after that, I heard sirens. A vehicle came over uh, and I, I, I saw Cadet uh, Owens over there that that small guy uh, i saw him uh and i said i've seen them i've seen them they've gone up the, the mountain and as i had my hand out like this pointing he immediately grabbed it and uh, wrestled me to the ground and and said you're gonna take the fall for this i don't need the paperwork could you advise the time period between you being struck with the vehicle and hearing the sirens like i said I, i've been hit by a by a vehicle and needed medical attention it felt like an eternity but for all i know it could have been mere minutes do you have a firearms license? Let's hit the fifth. Are you aware what which firearms are sold at ammunition? Uh, no, I've I've never Objection. bought I've never bought a gun. Cause for conclusion. One, one thing one thing I've just realised that I, I I feel I feel so embarrassed about this now that I, I completely forgot about it. One thing I do remember is that when I fell out of the vehicle, um, a, a jacket was placed over me by uh, a female in the car because uh, she looked uh, distraught having having hit me. So there could have been something in the jacket. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I was covered in blood at the time. It could have been red, but then again, it, there was blood everywhere, so everything was red. My my the, the jacket I was wearing at the time which was a a nice white jacket that was that was covered in in blood you know with with the car okay hey, your honor no, no further questions okay. uh fiddlestick i have no questions for the, the witness your honor no questions thank you darling do no. okay you can return thank you very much honor you've been a, a, a you're, you're a man of justice i can see fucking got him I nailed it light bulb i'm just looking at the give me my oscar now report. now they're just trying to work out how how much money are we going to give this uh, lightning guy Okay, now that we've gotten the full testimony and cross-examined all the available witnesses, would either the defense or the prosecution like Objection, to Objection, hearsay. Apologies, Your Honor, I didn't catch that. There was a monkey what? in the, the court. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Arrest that man removed from the court. Will you please well, step friend. out of the court? Power to the people. Power to the people. Run free. Shh. Mr. McBesky, right. please be quiet. This, this, this should be it now. This should be it. Thank you Any very much for sticking along this. I know it's a long to torch with affair, but I mean, if you're watching Prince Harry at the defense. moment, this is how long these things take when, you, when you're like Do me you and, you're, and you're in the public eye. Did you say closing statements, Your Honour? We've heard you today. That's this weekend. That the charge of destruction of government property simply cannot be proved. No photographs of the damage and my client should not be charged with this. The destruction of government property charge and therefore we are left with the three remaining charges. Possession of class one firearm. Possession of class two firearm, possession of illegal weapon modification with the removal of the primary charge, destruction of government property. Why would my client be charged with the remaining three? A search was conducted upon my client illegally. There was no evidence to prove the primary charge, which means my client would never have been searched, which means the remaining three charges, the, which came from the search of his person, could never have been added to his record. Now the defense may argue that would be infactual because there was a chase between the police and this EMS charger that gives them the probable cause to search my clients. But I asked this courtroom, where is probable cause detailed? It is not on the penal code. It is not in any case law, nor any rights. Probable cause is something locked behind a police handbook for them to read and only them to read. Now, why is that my client's fault? To be victim? A victim. Is this a uh, penal code that's not specifically detailing why my client receives his charges? You see, Your Honor, that's it is my belief that my client should not have been charged with the remaining charges should because be the original charge is now disproved. No charge. Rendering probable cause moot. Due to the lack of evidence of the primary here. charge, my client is in. Sorry, the police are in direct violation of the, the Fourth of Amendment. Justice can go my one clients. way or the other at any time. And as you know, this is a very serious thing. If I win this case, I'm going to celebrate by jumping in my car and driving straight over the grass of City Hall. Of course. Music the should not be returned. They are illegal Flicking items. Flicking the V's. But this courtroom the must the be made of where? Fuck the police. Would the police have found those illegal items if this bogus charge wasn't slapped upon my client? Place. I am finished, Your Honor. That was so deep and rich. Deep and rich.
Yep, yep. Deserves that. Deserves that. Well done. Your Honor, people of the courtroom, <clears throat> based on the statements we've heard here today on the damage of the vehicle and the witness statements from the officers, I believe the charges of destruction of government property, as well as all other charges, should be upheld. Yeah. Mr. Mabowski should have been charged with Grand Theft Auto, but this charge was not added because the destruction of government char property charge was already there. Also because the vehicle being worth an estimated $200,000, I would expect the repair cost to far exceed 1.5% of the value based on the damage that was done to the vehicle. The suspect was in receival of medical treatment, at which point the weapon would have been discovered anyway, and the suspect could have been searched under Terry versus Ohio. The weapons found on Mr. Mabowski oh. was one times SNS pistol, which an illegal firearm and a silenced tech thing. These are extremely dangerous weapons Larry and shouldn't be of any place on the street. <laughs> my final closing statement, Your Honor. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We're going to take a three-minute recess um, and then uh, we will re resume. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Jesus Christ. The smoke. Jesus Christ. What, what's... What's this guy got? What's your problem? Well, that's it. Oh, please get together for a nice little chat. I'm gonna save our space for the conclusion, Mr. Bukowski. I, I will. I will do. I will do. Larry, Larry, don't be hanging around with them. What? You know what? You know what the, you know what the irony what here is? See that guy there with the, the black suit, chatting to them. The police. He's the one who gave he me is. the guns. Shut up. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Ooh. Wow. 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 Oh, Have we got a stitch? Get him now. I'm just talking, I'm talking. Hey, hey, fun fact, hey, fun fact, lightning. Respectfully, <laughs> shut the fuck up and don't say that ever again. Thank you. Okay, Larry, just, just be ready to go any minute's notice. If it doesn't go my way, I want guns blazing, I want knives out, I want the fucking lot. Literally, fuck okay. the police. You ready? I have three weapons, right? First, it'll be golf club. Next, it'll be the hammer. And then it'll be the knife. Sit down. You forgot your fourth weapon. Your beauty. So in the case of destruction of government property, um, I'm gonna find McBowski not guilty. Yes! Well, sorry. <laughs> Suey. What it comes down to now Shut is up. in regards to probable cause and then whether we're going with- The probable cause <laughs> was granted yeah. due to the fact my client was arrested. <laughs> the charge the PD gave my client, due to which <laughs> it's- There's supposed to be property. someone in the call. I, if they wanted to use this probable cause- riffraff. Shots obtained up. from the the reckless evading, which they didn't actually add to my client. They should have charged my client for reckless evading. It's unreasonable for my client to have been searched. Objection. And it's a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment. No, all right. Your client can be searched under reasonable suspicion. He's, oh, oh, he's going to be absolutely well, raging if it doesn't go their way. He can be frisked under reasonable suspicion. No, no, no the, 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 yes, the, he's already... Which would, uh, which the, would show the, the judge has already and ruled to tell him to be quiet. Do not need probable cause. Reasonable suspicion, that one's pretty pretty blunt. That I mean... He was in the, at the scene of the crime. There's articulable reasons that they would reasonably suspect that that individual that was in the, the uh, who was in the area of where the crime was committed would be, would be potentially involved. That arguing that that ladies and gentlemen, where we come into is the is the probable cause. We'll and tonight. as you said, as the first charge has been dropped right now, do the police do the police need to charge Purveyor of Sorry, justice? I'm, I'm it's okay, you want to take please take your time. Sorry, please take your time. Sorry. Please Sorry. Take your time. Sorry. My, my people, my viewers. I'm trying to get my words up, but I can't. Um, yeah, it's I at the discretion again, of the prosecution. Go ahead. It's at the discretion of the prosecution with what they want to charge Mikbowski with, so long as it's reasonable at, at the time of charging him. The, question, the, the thing is, is the, the question thumbnail. is whether I'll or not they have the way. a right to search shut up, shut up, shut up. Mikbowski Sorry. at that point in time. Going off of plausible deniability with him matching the description of the suspect at pillbox and both at the scene, search at that point in time would be reasonable, which again would lead to Terry v. Ohio as far as the frisk, which they would have found the the weapon and would be able to at that point seize it so the the remaining three charges would still be applicable that's bullshit you wanna what crime did the uh, the police suspect of my client suspecting of being a correct surely, surely to find me of joyriding i would have had to have stolen the vehicle mr mcbowski please allow, sorry, allow sorry, me sorry i've just got a very sharp mind so in order for terry versus ohio to have been prevalent is the word i'm going to use and my client would have had to have been charged for joyriding is that correct see i've just sold him that, that you'd have never have done that without me reasonable suspicion and probable clauses are, are completely independent of what charges are pressed your honor it's based on an assumption my client was never frisked he was immediately searched if a frisk was involved then I would agree, but there is no frisking involved. It went straight to a search. Based on plausible yeah, deniability risk. with him being the only I... one on the scene within the time span that was given by the I testimony don't... of multiple witnesses, plausible deniability would give probable cause at that point in time. Shut up and keep would the camera stand. straight. Fucking suck my toe. No, suck my ass.
news team. If you if you guys are gonna be my regular news team, you need to like get it together. Chief wants me. Cohesive group. Larry, Larry, you're in charge. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Larry. Killing you. I'm gonna fucking murder you. Larry, can you say that into the microphone? Suck my dick. I've already spent my time. It's a win-win either way. First charge is gonna be non-applicable. Damage to government property is gonna be removed. Thank you, Otto. Charges will remain, but we are also going to, in addition to the compensation for the fine, we are going to compensate one thousand dollars. One thousand. One thousand five. <laughs> one thousand five hundred additional <laughs> on top of your refund for the damage to government property. Fuck me! I, I don't get out of bed for less than ten k. Your total fine was wasn't even ten k. Exactly. <laughs> Compensated time, Judge. Five years, we, Judge. We Five yes. years. That was five. mentioned. Fifteen hundred dollars. Five years is fifteen hundred dollars. What kind of circus is applicable. this we've got here, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lady Mabowski, and right now you're looking at the decimation of justice in this city. <laughs> look, look what you've done, Judge. Look what you've done. Look at the restlessness. No. Two no, no, grand no. for justice. No, no, no. Fifteen hundred plus the refund of the charge. That amount. I believe it's two thousand, so three thousand five hundred. I was charged. I was charged eight thousand. Yep, you're not getting a what? refund for the charges that stand. Fiddlesticks! You said this was an open and shut case. You said that this was a reasonable man. Nothing here seems reasonable. The judge rules against me. I'm on. on the judge rules against me for Terry versus Ohio. Can we start again? I, I have no say in that. But you you do know case law, yeah? Of course I do. Well, you didn't look like you, you knew it. Because you, you weren't frisked, but the judge will never rise. But this is. Oh, this is uh, can you not see how much bullshit this is right now? Oh, this is this is yeah, terrible. Yeah. They'd be frisked if they had probable cause. The reasonable suspicion and belief armed and dangerous. So hold on a second. If, I, if you don't a, think I applicable. stole the car, if you don't think I stole the car, then how can I be accused of joyriding? And therefore, if I can't be accused of joyriding, where's the probable cause? You were accused of being because you were the one who was running. Riding, but it wasn't, you weren't charged with it. That's oh. the discretion of the prosecution why? what they charge you with. Well, but apparently, according to the police, there was only one person Doesn't in matter the car. why. So if the police, no, the, it, it you said the police got it wrong. They got what wrong? You said, the police said that there was only one person in the car. You're implying there were two people in the car. I'm not implying there were two people in the car. Well, I, I was either joyriding or I, or I wasn't. If I wasn't, then the car driving itself, is it Night Rider? Joyriding well, doesn't require two people to be in the vehicle. It requires a so person you, in the vehicle. What this came down to is because you were found lying unconscious next to the car that apparently gave the police the right to frisk you as, as a result of things that were on your person you're being charged with given the time frame that was given it would be impossible Shh. for two people to vacate the area and you a third to be there hold on yeah, only are. one person asked to escape i could have been the uh, a person in the street which it was it only takes one person to escape there, not two people. Well, you said there were two people in the vehicle. I said it looked like it was two people in the vehicle, but I was that car okay, was traveling at 100 odd miles an hour. Plus, I, plus I've been concussed by, where is he, Charles Collins, little shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't talk about my kid like that. I'll beat the fucking shit out of you, bro. Oh, what, what hey, Charlie, you Charlie. Does, does matter, it's good doesn't to matter. see you again, Charlie. How, how does it not matter? How does yeah. it matter? See, this, this is it, everyone. But, see this? This is justice. So, you know, from now on, it's open season on the PD oh, as far as yeah. Lightning Lebowski is concerned. I wouldn't say that. Jesus, that's quite forward. It is open. Mm. It's open season. Pretty good sign of covering as well. Yeah, no, I mean, it, oh, it doesn't it imply violence, it. or does it? No, it doesn't. That's exactly no. what you're implying. I'm not going off of what he implied. Well, it? It's not a. It's not a criminal threat if he didn't directly say he was going to go and shoot PD. I didn't say I was going to shoot PD. Yeah, exactly. I didn't say I was going to take a small blade. And walk up behind every police officer from now on and stick it between their uh, their ribs, turning oh, exactly. it, turning it sideways, you don't say something like that, pulling it up fine. through cartilage, you're, you're popping their hearts out. I didn't say anything like let, that. Let, let, let me just get this straight. Extreme for baby charges. So, right? so because the police assumed my client was guilty, then gave them the right to frisk. No, not that's frisk. a new law, everyone. If they think you've done it, they can take what they want. Oh, I'll just pay him the twenty grand, so we don't have to do it again. That's that's there. There we go. Pay us the twenty grand, Charlie. Well done, Charlie.